Good morning and happy Wednesday. All right, I was trying to record before and I don't think it was recording. It was doing something weird. Anyway, I wanted to get up here on here real quick and talk about something, uh, thoughts, right? My thoughts, your thoughts. And first of all, I want to start off by saying that our thoughts are not facts. Actually, 98% average, 98% of our thoughts are judgments, opinions, you know, based on that past experiences, they're not actually facts. Um, and so what happens too, it, another thing is that our thoughts become habits. So, you know, when we're um, thinking negatively, when we're judging ourselves, when we're, you know, making comments about ourselves, putting ourselves down, um, you know, consistently, it becomes a habit so that like, without even realizing it, we could be talking to ourselves very, very negatively throughout the day. And if you were just mindful and just, um, you know, became aware when you were saying negative things about yourself, you know, um, you'd see that, that that's the case. And I've um, been doing a lot of mindfulness practice with my research um, on mindful eating in particular, in particularly, but just looking at mindfulness in, in all our um, areas of life, of my life, um, it's it's just really enlightening. And so, you know, we we take these um, comments, these judgments, as fact, as beliefs, and then they can set off a chain of events. You know, we'll where uh, fe we'll feel a certain way, our emotions are based on what our thoughts are, and then our behaviors can be, um, you know, indirectly what our thoughts are. So, for instance, um, I, I feel my stomach is too big. I feel fat, right? Um, and then my emotions will be, um, I feel depressed, I feel down, I feel frustrated. I've tried many diets, none of them work. Um, again, this is some of that thoughts, not just feelings, but feeling down, feeling depressed, feeling frustrated. And my behavior may be, um, you know, F it. Um, everything I've tried doesn't work. I might as well just indulge and, and go for it, right? Or my behavior may be, um, I'm going to starve myself, right? I'm going to, I'm going to restrict myself. I'm not going to eat the beautiful, wonderful donuts that my coworkers brought in, I'm just saying for example, um, you know, and, and kind of like torment myself because that's all I can think about is those beautiful, wonderful donuts that I can't have. So learning how to, um, talk to ourselves in a way that, you know, is, is motivating because let's face it, when we talk negative to ourselves, it really doesn't have a positive result, right? So when I when I put myself down, when I say that I'm fat, um, it doesn't really motivate me. And it doesn't make me feel good about myself. It doesn't really motivate me to live a happy life, right? Because I'm, I'm feeling down, I'm feeling frustrated. And so I need to, to uh, learn to, to flip that around. It's not so much flip it around. I, I think I'm using the wrong words because I think a lot of times what we think is that we shouldn't be thinking those negative thoughts or those negative thoughts are gonna, we're gonna banish them. And the truth of the matter is we don't. We don't really get rid of those negative thinkings. We become aware of them and then we can say, well, that's not true, right? Um, or how true is that? Is the whole thing true, you know? Um, so yeah, I have a couple of inches on my waist that I, I wish wasn't there, but you know what? My stomach is a beautiful thing. I've carried two children. Um, it actually went through uh, an, an absorbent amount of alcohol. My drinking days, I drink a lot, and I'm I'm healthy. What an amazing organ! What an amazing part of the body that is able to, you know, repair itself and and have, you know, uh, babies and and develop life, right? And so just kind of like reframing the way I look at my body parts, the way I think can kind of like give myself some compassion and give myself, okay, so 
it is an amazing um, part of my body, and so I want to cherish it. I want to, I want to, um, you know, keep it healthy. I want to, I want to, um, you know, uh, honor it. I guess in a way. So just some thoughts that, I don't know, what do you think? Are you thinking um, insane, like Doreen, what, what, <laughs> I can't do that? Um, are you thinking, yeah, maybe there's something to that? Again, I'm still doing my research, but I know I've been doing a lot of mindful eating and it has helped me to re recognize um, some of the stuff that I'm eating, I'm not even enjoying, right? I don't even want, and I continue eating a lot longer than, um, that I'm satisfied, right? So I'm not even realizing when I'm full because I keep I keep eating because I'm usually doing something while I'm eating, you know, not just eating. So um, I'm learning to do that. I'm learning to just sit and eat and enjoy food and think about what it is that you know I'm eating and whatnot. And um, and our thoughts play a lot with that, right? So what are our, what are our thoughts around our body image? I think especially for women and we live in a culture that's go 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 and we live in a culture that's you know thin 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 or you know you gotta look, look a certain way um, you know you're 50 years old but you still shouldn't have saddlebags and you still shouldn't have um, wrinkles or 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 all that stuff I mean I don't know where this comes from really um, why it developed the way it is I know commercials have a lot to do with it but I think it's a lot deeper than that. It's a lot more than that. But I think in our culture, our society, we're kind of like brainwashed to thinking that we're not beautiful the way we are. We need to change it. We need to fix it. We need to become something different. Um, so I know I kind of was all over the place, which is usual for me. I hope you got something out of it. I hope, you know, you can walk away and say, you know, what? I'm going to be more mindful of my thoughts now and I talk to myself because really if people talk to me the way I talk to me they wouldn't be my friend <laughs> so um, you know be careful what, what you're saying to yourself you know um, and and realize that your thoughts aren't always facts most of the time they're not facts okay have a beautiful day uh, remember to let the people that you love know that you love them send them that text give them a call give them a great big hug every chance you get you are beautiful just the way you are live your life enthusiastically. If you like my videos, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, follow me on Recovery Enthusiast on Instagram and Facebook. And until next time, peace. Stay blessed.